well, welcome, and let's get started. We will be doing the extra large size sole. Let's start with a slip knot. We will do a chain of 30. Be sure to pause the video at any time to catch up. We will now do two single crochet in the second chain from the hook. Working in each chain, we're going to put one single crochet in each of the next 18 chains. So one single crochet until you reach 18. Now four half double crochet, one in each of the next four stitches. Now five double crochet, one in each of the next five stitches. Once you have reached the last chain, we are going to put seven double crochets in that last stitch. Don't worry about your tail, we can weave that in at the end. We will now work in the other side of the chain. Be very careful not to miss a single stitch. Starting in the very first one, we're going to put a double crochet. We will do five double crochets. Make sure you find the little spot to put the stitch. Now we can continue with four half double crochet. Continue down this side with 18 single crochet. This one will be number 18, 
and in the very beginning stitch we're going to put one single crochet. That's in the same stitch as we started with the two. We can then slip stitch into the top of the first single crochet to join. Round one will equal 64 stitches, approximately seven inches or 18 centimeters. For round two, we will start with a chain one. We will put a single crochet in that same stitch. We will then do two single crochets in the next stitch. We will now work 28 single crochet down the side. Working around the toe, we will put two single crochet in each of the next five stitches. So in the first one we're going to put two, and then in the next one two, and then we'll do that five times. That's four times, and five times. We will now work down the side with 28 single crochet. Once we have reached the last stitch, we're going to put two single crochet in there. We will slip stitch into the top of the first single crochet. So not into the slip stitch from the round below or the chain one, but into the top of the first single crochet. Round two will equal 71 stitches. For round three, again, we're gonna start with a chain one and starting in the same stitch, we're going to put two single crochet. We will then put one single crochet in the next, and then two single crochet in the next. We're then going to follow this with 20 single crochet down the side. And now to widen the toe a little more, we're going to do eight half double crochet. This will be number seven, and this one will be number eight. Working around the toe, our pattern will be one half double crochet, and then two half double crochet in the next stitch, and we're going to do that five times. So one, and then two in the next. That'll be one time. That's two times. And 
and 3. That's 4. And one more time. 2 in this one. And that's 5 times. We'll now do eight half double crochet, one in each of the next eight stitches. This will be number seven and number eight. We can then follow this with 20 single crochet down the side. You will now have two stitches remaining. We're going to put two single crochet in the first stitch and then one single crochet in the next. And then for this row only, we're going to put two single crochet in the slip stitch from the round below. We will then do a slip stitch into the top of the first single crochet to join. Round 3 will equal 81 stitches. For round 4, we'll start with a chain 1 and working into that same stitch, we will do one single crochet and then another single crochet in the next and then we're going to do two single crochet. and then one single crochet, and then two single crochet. We can now do 28 single crochet, one in each of the next 28 stitches down the side. Working around the toe, our pattern will be one half double crochet and then two half double crochet in the next, followed by one half double crochet. And we will do this five times. That's one time. That's two times. Three. That will be four. And five times. We will then continue with 28 single crochet down the side.
To finish this round, we will put two single crochet in the first stitch, and then one single crochet in the next stitch. and then two single crochet in the next, and then one single crochet, and one single crochet. You can then slip stitch into the top of the first single crochet to join. Round four will equal 90 stitches. For round five, we will start with the chain one and starting in the same stitch, we will put a single crochet. Then we will do one more single crochet and then two single crochets in the next. For this round, we will do 25 single crochet down the side. And now 13 half double crochet. Two. Four. be six, and eight, this will be ten, this will be number twelve, and number thirteen. Working along the top of the toe, we're going to put two half double crochet in the next stitch, and then six half double crochet, and then two half double crochet in the next stitch. That will be six, and then two half double crochet. Now we will do 13 half double crochet. That'll be two. That's four. Six, eight, there's ten, twelve, and thirteen. We will now continue with 25 single crochet along the side. To finish this round, we will do two single crochet in the next stitch, followed by a single crochet and another single crochet. We can then slip stitch into the top of the first single crochet to join. Round five will equal 94 stitches. To start round six, we will chain one and start in the same stitch. This time we will do 10 half double crochet, one in each of the next 10 stitches.
we will now do 31 single crochet along the side. To work around the toe, we will do half double crochet. We will start with six half double crochet. And then we will put two half double crochet in the next stitch, two in the next, and then another six half double crochet. So we will start with our six half double crochet. And now two half double crochet in one stitch. And again two half double crochet in the next stitch. And then the six half double crochet. Working along this side, we are going to put 29 single crochet. And now we will do 10 half double crochet to finish this round. Now we can slip stitch into the top of the first half double crochet to join. Round six will equal 96 stitches. At this time we can now measure your sole. If this is a good length for you, you can finish here. I am going to do one more round of single crochet all the way around. Just one single crochet in each stitch. So round seven will equal 96 stitches. When you get to the end, do not join. Cut your yarn and pull through. We will now finish with an invisible close. With your darning needle, insert into the top of the first single crochet. Now place your needle into the back of the last single crochet that you made. You have just created an invisible stitch or an extra stitch or V for a perfect finish. Pull your yarn to the back, weave end and tie off. Thank you for watching. Be sure you watch until the very end for our exact measurement. Enjoy!